Uh, I explained that in light of that, um, to not charge Carla Peterson and Scott Fisher for their candid statements, I would be deducting the $752 that I paid in the 2020 election from the amount I owe the district for costs related to my writ case. Um, it is unclear to me whether Chief Bullard had the authority to make that financial decision. Uh, and now that I've objected, he wants the board to do it uh, and presumably still try to collect the $752 for me. Um, instead of accepting my resolution, I suspect the board has now paid more than $752 to Mr. Ross for help in trying to justify this unfair situation. Uh, I think the timing of it, only after I objected, makes the situation look any worse. Um, Elections code uh, that election code 10509 requires that the board make that decision before 175 days before the election. The board did that in July 14th, 2020. Since the board did not do another resolution, that is still the law. You could do it for the 2024 election, but I do believe that. Um, the board, at this point in time, has the authority to excuse uh, candidate statement points. I would uh, note that Carl Peterson and Scott Fisher must be recused from voting on this matter tonight as they both have a personal financial interest in the action to the tune of $756 each on bill filed in our litigation. The board has discretion to do so and should exercise that discretion fairly, not only with regard to elections where the inc incumbent runs, but to an election where a non-incumbent runs. So Thank you. in 2020, you were the only person to file a candidate statement. There were no other candidates to file a candidate statement. So that's why you were the only person that was invoiced in 2020. And or if you're concerned about, if the concern is about people affording the, the candidate statement, that should apply to non-incumbents and incumbents. It would apply to non-incumbents and incumbents. It, it didn't to, apply in that way in 2020. We're not talking about 2020, we're talking about 2022. In 2020, apparently, even before the district had been billed, Chief Bullard billed me two days after the election. In fact, before the results were even finalized. Um, if, as I said, the board has the discretion to do that, but the board is, would be exercising that discretion arbitrarily and capriciously okay. well, if it excuses the 2024 candidate statement. The matter agendized the before the board, Ms. Tripoli, has to do with the 2022 fire board election. That's what's before the board tonight. So the issue is as stated by Director Evil. Right? If, if, you know, you think you have some rights with respect to 2022, you can take whatever appropriate action you think you should take. But the issue agendized for tonight is exactly as stated on the agenda. That's the issue before the board. So that's what they're attempting to resolve. The issue about whether or not you can deduct your costs from the judicial proceeding is not a matter before the board, but that's something that's in another branch of government. It's not concerned with the matter that's agendized. So the board has discretion to take action. I would recommend that the two directors who are at issue with candidate statements not participate. So if you're going to make a decision, it has to be unanimous because you only have three left. Okay. okay. And if I understand correctly, Mr. Ross, your advice has been that even though there's only three voting can uh, three voting directors, there has to be three positive votes to That's take the I action. Said. Yes. And so. Um, one action would be for three board, three board members to excuse the 2024. The action would be what's agendized and, before them tonight. You one, can characterize it any way you want. I think the board's properly characterized it, unless there are questions. Well, I would disagree in terms of what questions so I mean, by the board. When, um, I disagree with regard to the agenda. There is nothing on the agenda that says that that's the proposal. The board, three members Pause of the board, for the 2022 three, members fire the board, board election. three members of the board could also decide to excuse both 2020 and 2022 to avoid appearing arbitrary and capricious with regard to incumbents in the election. Uh, I would advise the board, I don't see that as being before you tonight. 